Hi, and welcome to Brimster Puzzles, a channel where I try and show you the fun that can be had in the world of Variant Sudoku. And today we're returning to Sudoku U, but with a new entry to Sudoku U. This puzzle is called 10 Little Crypto Dots, and it's by Olimar et al. Et al? Well, the et al um, is actually... Let me just read what came with this puzzle. Um, and this is from Olimar. I'm teaching a so-called a W seminar in mathematics on the topic of cryptography at my school, the Friedrich Koenig Gymnasium in Würzburg, Germany. The, um, the course number, 2WM, and we are nine pupils with me, hence the 10 crypto, uh, 10, crypto do, uh, 10 crypto crop key dots. This was our first collaboration in the full class, and it turned out to be quite nice and approachable. So this was a collaboration between Olimar and the students in his, um, what was it, a cryptography class? Class. So um, this counts as Sudoku U as, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm kicking off the next Sudoku U series. It was made as part of a class. I am perfectly happy for this to be part of Sudoku U. So um, there will be more Sudoku U puzzles following from this one using the um, Puzzles and Paradoxes class. But let's have a look at 10 Little Crypto Dots by Olimar et al. So what do we have? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply into every box, into every row, and into every column. The digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Along a thermo, digits increase away from the bulb. So as we move away from the bulb, digits must increase. So this digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. Black dots indicate digits in a ratio of 1 to 2. So um, these digits are in a ratio of 1 to 2. White dots indicate consecutive digits, and not all dots are necessarily shown. Um, so it's perfectly fine for um, these two digits to be consecutive or a 1 to 2 ratio, the same way it's perfectly fine for those digits to actually increase from this digit to this digit without there being a thermo. Um, there'll be a link to this puzzle in the description below. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, I'm probably going to start by pencil marking thermos because I don't mind doing that. So the maximum we've got here is nine, whoops, no, 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 wrong mode, nine, eight. Let's move the mouse out of the way. Maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, nine. So this has to be from six, seven, eight, or nine in order to be consecutive with those. But there's something about black dots which is important which is, um, if you think about the nature of doubling digits, one would double, uh, you'll have a low digit, one through four, doubling to its even double. So one would double to two, two would double to four, three would double to six, four would double to eight. The next option is five doubling to 10, and 10 isn't a Sudoku digit. So because you have to double a low digit to an even digit, a double is always times two, therefore even, a high odd digit can never appear on a black dot. So this can never be a seven or a nine, which means this can never be this is even, so this has to be odd. So this could never be an eight, but that does not do too much of a restriction. But it does do a restriction here because eight only goes with four and six only goes with three. If this is four, this is two or eight. And if this is three, this is six. I'm not sure that that's actually a huge restriction here. I mean, this is even, so this is odd. So I could do parity coloring, but I'm not sure. Maybe I need to pencil mark these. Because where is well, where is nine in this? Because in this box, because you can never put nine on partway along a thermo. Because if I put nine in any of these cells, I'd need a digit higher than it. So nine is in one of those two because it can't be here. Nine here would make that eight which would make that six, which would make that seven, and that's broken. Because nine, eight would make that six, that would be seven, and this would have no fill because this would be six, seven, eight, and nine, and that would have no fill. That can't be a nine. That has to be the nine. Not sure how that's helping me though. Well, it does make this seven, which means this is six, five, four, three, two and one. Actually, that's pretty cool. I like that. One is now in one of those two because I can't put one in any cell that's already full. Um, two is not as limited. 
So what can go on here? I need to put an odd digit on this because every consecutive dot needs an odd and an even digit. And five, seven, and nine are not available. So this contains one or a three. So it's from one, two, three, or four. But that doesn't restrict this very much at all. Oh, the six makes this eight, which makes this four, which means this isn't six, it's two or eight. Two would go with one or three, eight would only go with seven because nine is not available. There's no four on this. So this has to be one, two, or three, six. It can't be two, four, or four, eight because there's no four available. So if this was four, two, this couldn't be four, two, three anymore. Because if this was four, two, three, this couldn't be one, two, or three, six. This could never be a three. But four, two, one would allow that to be three, six, and four, eight, seven would allow that to be either. Maybe I do want to pencil mark these. Hmm. But these are all from one, two, three, four. But this, nine is in one of these three because I can't put nine partway along a thermo, which means nine is in one of those two. These, well, these are one, two, eight, and nine. I know one is restricted to those, nine is there. So this is two or eight. But again, nine, eight, seven, six. So these are all six or lower. Ah, because nine, eight, seven, six. So this is no higher than five. Actually, it's worse than that, I think. Ooh, this is quite restricted. Because maximum nine, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum three. This is one or two. Because nine can't be eight, six, five, three, because it can't be four, one or two. So two or three, three or five, five or six, six or seven, seven or nine. But this is just as restricted. Four is in one of those three now, because I can't put four in any of these. But maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six. Three, five, or six only. Four, five, six, seven, maybe. I'm, I'm actually, well, where's seven in this box now? I can't put it here. Yeah, I can't put seven in any of these. This is the seven, eight, nine, which means this is seven, six, five, three, two, one. That's really clever. Two, three, no three here. This is the six. This is the four, which means this is consecutive with four, which means it's either three or five. And I can't put five on a black dot for reasons I described earlier. This is three, six, three. There's no three or four here. This is a one, two. This is really nice. Three is consecutive with either two or four. And this is restricted now. This is a minimum of four. Nine, eight, seven, six. So this is four or six only. Because it can't be a five. And it can't be one, two, three, which is why it's a minimum of four. I do like this. Where's one and two in box two? Because one and two can't go in any of those. This is a one, two pair. So these are the three, four, five that haven't been placed which means this isn't three. Oh, the one and the two is looking down, making that the six, that the three, makes that the seven and that the eight. There we go. So these are one, two, and five, must contain a five. And these are one, two, and nine, and must contain a nine. Is this thermo now? Because minimum here is five and six. If this was a six, this would be broken because this would go six, seven, eight, nine, and this would go six, seven, eight, nine, and these digits would all be identical. This is a four. This isn't the one anymore because of this one. This is the one, and these are two, eight, nine. There's no two there. That's eight. This is a two, nine. And these are known. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. 
So one of those is the nine to be higher than the eight. So these have to be seven and nine, because once I put the nine higher than the eight, the only thing that can be higher than the seven is the six. And this is the five in the box. So these are higher than four. So five, six, seven, they can't go up to eight. So these are only from five, six, seven, and there's no six. This is a five, seven pair. So there's no five there. So three, four, and nine go into these, three, four, nine, and there's no four there, and there's no three there. That's the nine. So these are a three, four pair, and the three makes that the four, makes that the three, and takes three out of those. Neat. The four looks down, making that the two, which makes that the one and that the two. And I'm kind of, apart from this dot now, just down to Sudoku. This two is making that the nine and that the two. This six is doing it. It's making that the eight, which makes that the nine, which makes that the six and that the seven. The six needs the five lower than it, making that the seven. And now I am just down to Sudoku except for this dot. So what's the triple in this column? I've got one, two, three, four, five. So there's six, seven, and eight. There's no six here and there's no seven here. Ah, there's no seven in either of those. This is a six, eight pair. That's a seven. The two sevens are looking across, putting seven in one of those two. That seven eliminates from there. Where am I the most restricted? Four is down here because of these two fours, and it's not there. So four is in one of those two. One is down here, but it could be in any of those three. Two is down here, but it can't be in the middle cell. So two is in one of those two. It could be here if that's a one. I think three is in one of those three, but it has to be in one of those. What is this? It can't be one, two, three, four. It could be five. It can't, it could be six. It can't be seven, uh, five, six, eight, nine. That is actually quite open. Eight in this box is in one of those two. Is it this quadruple? Well, two is in one of those two by Sudoku because two is not here and the others are full and the one two pair is saying that's not the two. So this is the two. This is now a triple. Well, actually, no, let's just ask where's one in this box because the one two is eliminating one from those. That's the one. So this is now a pair. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, these are a three, four pair, which looks up making that the five and that the four. Excellent. So three and three puts three in one of these two. Five is in one of these two. And then I need to put six and eight in, which seems to be okay. But this three is looking up, making that the four and that the three. And this is now a pair. One, five. Not sure, but this is a triple. Four, eight, nine. The four and the eight here are looking across, making that the nine. So this is actually a four, eight pair. Okay, it's got to be this dot, doesn't it? One would make that two, seems okay. Nine would make that eight, seems okay. Two would make that four. So one makes that two, nine makes that eight, and two, hang on, two would make that one, sorry. Ah, this can't be a two, because if this is a two, this would have to be a one or a three, and it can't be. So this is not a two. This is only a one or a nine. And this is only a two or an eight. Ah, no, 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 no. It's this cell. This sees one. So let me just highlight it so it's clearer. This sees one, two, three, four, five. Um, six, eight, and nine. That is the seven. That is a naked single. I'm trying to get better at seeing naked singles, but I still find it hard. Seven is looking up saying not in those. Seven is looking up saying not in those. Seven is looking across saying not there. That's a seven. Okay, I'm back. I actually had a seizure while recording this puzzle, and I'm not going to keep that in the video. So let's... Um, 
keep going with um, the solve of this. I um, just had to make sure my recording was working. So um, I have watched up to where I was and I just discovered this seven as a naked single, which placed this seven. Um, I don't really remember solving up to here, but I'm pretty certain I can figure it out because this seems to just be Sudoku at this point. I do, do remember watching the video, but I don't remember the flow of the puzzle. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. These are six, eight, and nine in the row and must contain nine. There's no eight there. Okay, where am I looking? Um, doo -doo -doo. What do I have? In this column, I've got three, four, six, and nine. There's no four or nine there. So this is only three or six. Three, four, six, nine. There's no six here. This is three, four, or nine. That doesn't seem to be it. Uh, that doesn't seem to have much restrictions. I've got a quadruple here, one, three, five, eight. This is three, five, or eight. I'm over pencil marking everything. I know one is down here. This isn't one or eight. So this is, uh, sorry, three or eight. So this is only one or five. So this is one, two, or five, and it's not a one. This is two or five. So is there something with twos and fives. Where's two in the bottom row? Right, right. Twos are looking down, not here. There's no twos in here. This is a two, which means this is a one. This is a five. This is a one. Two means that's a five. That's a one. Takes five out of there. The five is looking up, removing that five pencil mark, making that a five, which by pencil mark makes that a three. This is six, eight, nine. Eight must be in one of those two, saying this isn't an eight. So this is a pair. I need to put a three in that pair. So that's not the three, that's the three. And this digit, which I haven't placed, is an eight, which makes this the four, this the eight, looking back, making that the nine, which makes that the six and that the four. The one takes one out of both of those. The two takes two out of there, making that the five, makes that the nine. This is the two. The two looks up making that the one and that the two. Okay. So the six looks up taking six out of those. That is an eight, nine. This is the six. The nine looks back making that the eight, that the nine. The eight looks across making that the six and that the eight. <laughs> this took me way too long. I actually put my computer to sleep, but that took me a while to come back after the seizure to be able to get everything done. I'm sorry, everyone, um, and I'm really sorry to Olimar and your students. Um, you didn't deserve to have the puzzle flow interrupted like this. This was a really good puzzle, um, and it deserved better. But I didn't want to ruin the discovery I had by doing it again. I, I thought that would have been... Although my memory of the original solve is a bit shot, so maybe it would have been fine to do. But I, I, I've done what I've done now. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Sudoku U series, which I will hopefully record after I've recovered. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.